So I've been working in this area about uh, 20 years and I've noticed that more and more young women are coming along complaining that sex is painful. We're not talking about a one-off, you know, it hurts a little bit. We're talking about conditions that progressively can get worse and worse and there are a number of conditions that lead to ongoing chronic pain that can actually make having sex impossible. Why do you think that porn might be having an influence on this increase that you're describing? I think porn is setting up unrealistic expectations. Uh, the young people I'm seeing think that what they see in porn is real life sex and of course it's not. So are you seeing a shift in the types of sexual practices that young people are engaging in? Yes, they're talking about, well certainly anal sex is much more common, but also more aggressive acts. Slapping, um, sometimes hitting, uh, hair pulling, those sorts of things. Things like ejaculating on their faces and expecting them to enjoy that. Very clearly they're the sorts of practices that are found in porn. When it comes to sex, I don't think you can separate the mind and the body. You can't have enjoyable pain-free sex unless you're turned on. The problem is that if they're doing the things they feel they should be doing, that their partners are expecting, things that they see in porn, but they're not enjoying it, then that can lead to lack of arousal. They're not turned on when they're doing those things, and that can lead to pain. And if that continues, it can actually lead to a pain condition that can be ongoing.